everyone. Thanks for checking back into my channel, and I'm really glad you did because we have a great episode, um, one that's exciting to me because I have a special guest for you guys. So introducing... Hi, Sarah. <laughs> How are you? It's my mom. Mommy, tell them what we're going to be making. We're making a fresh homemade almond milk. And it's really easy because there's just three ingredients, at least the way we're making it today. Right. Starting with... Almonds. And... Filter water. And the optional ingredient that we're using, dates. Okay, so we are going to prep the ingredients so we can make our delicious almond milk. Mommy, tell them uh, what they have to do to prepare. Sure. It's very easy. All you have to do is uh, take one cup of almonds and soak it overnight. And that's what we did here. I put these in last night before I went to bed. And really, you can soak them between like 8, 12 hours all the way up to 24 hours. It's, it, it's fine either way. The water will get super, um, you say mutty, right? I say murky. And you'll even if you rinse them and then pour more water, you'll see lots of stuff in there. And that's fine. That's what you want to happen. And then the almonds will get a little bit plump. Okay, so what we want to do is get these almonds here. We want to take the skins off of them, about a cup. Mommy, when you told me about doing this, I thought it would be so labor intensive. It's not, honey. It's very easy, simple. All you have to take almond and pop out. Like so just that. push down on it with your thumb and your finger, and it comes right out. Okay, so we're about to put everything in my brand new Vitamix that I got for my birthday. Um, my mom's an expert because we got her one for Mother's Day like years back. And I love it. You use it for like everything, right? Yes, everything. Um, Every day almost. <laughs> so one thing I want to say before we start, two things I think make my mom's recipe so different than probably like regular standard recipes. Um, one thing is you don't need to like buy the cheesecloth or um, the nut bags and do the squeezing afterwards because we took the peels off, which are the the big thing you don't want to eat um, and I don't know you I feel like you say it's wasteful to like get rid of all the pulp right yes I mean because when you like the pulp that's left over the almond meal it still has the same proteins and healthy fats in there so like why use it for something else yeah it's kind of waste and it's too much time consuming actually so this way you know you don't have to strain it easy Best. And we don't have to buy a cheesecloth. <laughs> but really though, soaking almonds is really good for you. Just the same way people soak like uh, lentils and chickpeas and all those and sprouting. The same benefit comes from soaking almonds. Um, when you take the skin off, it, it removes um, all the best stuff. Yeah, I think it's like... Like the same thing in grape skin, like tannins, I think they're called. Mm -hmm. But like that prevents you from absorbing all the nutrients from the almond. Mm -hmm. um, and when you soak it, it gives you, it kind of boosts some of the nutrients that are in there. Like you get more vitamin E and you get more folic acid, more vitamin B. So I think soaking is good. Taking the skins is even more important. Um, it helps with digestion. And the best thing about almonds, even if you don't do this, and just eating almonds is good either way, but um, the healthy fats are in here will keep you full longer. All right, are you ready, Mommy? Yes. So this is the first time using this. I hope it doesn't like explode on camera. So um, how much water should we put in? Four cups of water. All right, you want me to pour and you tell me when to yeah, stop? Yeah, just pour it. Uh -huh. And then after we put the water in, what are we gonna put in next? Okay, that's good. Right there? Perfect. Um, now this is the optional ingredient, right? So when you make your almond milk all the time, you don't use this. No, not all the time. Only if I want it to be like a little bit sweetener in the milk, so for tea and everything, I don't have to use sugar. So this is a good sweet. So I think one is enough, but I kind of want it a little sweeter, so I'm going to put two. You would also really like add anything else you want. So you know how in the store they sell chocolate almond milk, like the boys, mm. my nephews. You can use cocoa. Yeah, put cocoa or cacao in there. Um, you can put lots of different things, cinnamon, anything you want. Um, right. We have one cup, so do you want to put that in now? Yeah. I'm sure if I dumped it in, it would have all splashed out. <laughs> and our lid. So is there any like technique that you use for this? No, nothing. No? No techniques. Okay. 
Let's go. This is a really powerful blender, so I think doing our method wouldn't work like on a magic bullet because I don't think it would like grind it fine enough. Go ahead, mama. That was so fast. Yeah, it, it won't take too long at all. See how it is? Oh my God, it looks it's so, so nice and foamy. It's so foamy and like a real milk. <laughs> Except it's without cows. <laughs> okay, and then, you know, I did not put uh, vanilla. So if you wanted, you could add like uh, one, two teaspoons of vanilla in there. And you can even put up to like four dates. Wow, so much came out of the, just the one cup of almonds. See? That's like six cups. It's, awesome. It's, it's not expensive when you make homemade almond milk. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now for the taste test. Please pour me a glass of milk, sure. Mama. Delicious. Homemade. Oh my God. Sweet milk. Here. Cheers. Wow, that's really good. Like, when you get almond milk from the store, it doesn't really taste like almonds, but this actually has the almond flavor without having to add anything. Natural almond flavor in here. I mean, you said it's cheaper than buying almond milk, but really I think more than that is like, you know exactly what's in it and it's not processed. It's not processed. Thanks for showing me how to make almond milk, mommy. <laughs> I'm gonna do it all the time now. Yeah, you can do like um, once a week. like. Oh can... yeah, how long does this last? Uh, that's last about five days, like fresh. Okay. After that, I don't think it's gonna last me that long anyways. You can drink like, you know, five cup a day. I think the only thing that's different because we didn't separate the almond meal from there is that you can see like, well, I don't know if you can see, but it'll start to separate and then you just have to shake it up. So that's mm -hmm. why this is a great bottle for it and then serve. All right, bye mama, thank you. Till next time. <laughs>